Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at two stocks that can be picked up for under $10 a share. And analysts think they have some big growth potential ahead. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Like I said, today we're taking a look at two stocks that are priced under $10 per share. Now, both of these stocks come in with strong buy ratings from analysts, and some of these analysts think these stock could double in price. That's right, we have a couple price targets with over 100% potential upside. So we're gonna take a look at what these companies do and what has the analyst feeling so bullish. Just before we get into these two companies, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. We really appreciate the support. Okay, let's dive right into these two companies. The first stock on our list today is a company called the Commercial Vehicle Group. Their stock trades under the ticker CVGI, and they're currently priced at $9.66 per share. The company currently has a market cap just over $300 million. Now, as the company's name may suggest, Commercial Vehicle Group operates in the commercial industry. They develop, manufacture, and supply all manners of equipment to the global vehicle market, as well as to the military and for general industrial purposes. These offerings include seating systems, electric vehicle assemblies, electrical wire harnesses, plastic products, and complex automated and robotic assemblies, amongst more. In the warehouse automation category, the company is benefiting from retail e-commerce growth, which is resulting in increasing warehouse builds. They've had eight new business wins in 2021 so far, with sales of over 52 million just in this quarter. They're on track to meet or exceed 150 million of warehouse automation sales for the full year. The company is also benefiting from an increasing focus on electric vehicles. They are involved with 52 different opportunities globally at different points in the product lifestyle. They're working on everything from designing and delivering prototype products for field trials and testing to working on new electrical systems for class eight EV manufacturers. In 2021, they've had $129 million of annualized net new business awards. This includes 82 wins with 38 different customers, 10 of them being brand new to the CVG group. The company recently shared their second quarter earnings report, where both their revenues and earnings came in ahead of analyst expectations. Their net sales came in at $258 million, which was year-over-year -year growth of 103%. They had an adjusted EBITDA of $21.6 million versus $1.2 million in the prior year period, and their adjusted earnings per share came in at $0.33, cents, beating analyst estimates of just $0.05, cents, and notably ahead of the loss of $0.24 cents in the year-ago period. One analyst weighing in on the commercial vehicle group stock is Richard Ryan from Collier Securities, and he calls the valuation of the company somewhat of a head-scratcher. He says that the current peer group valuations are in the approximately 10x range forward estimates on an enterprise value over EBITDA basis. CVGI's valuation is below comps by a sizable amount as we do not believe the company is being credited for its strategic transitioning from a niche cyclical play to a diversified secular growth story. We believe there is room for multiple and EBITDA expansion over the next several years, yielding further upside opportunities. Richard Ryan is one of just three analysts that currently has a rating on the Commercial Vehicle Group stock, but they do all come in with unanimous buy ratings. Their average price target comes in at about $18 per share, which would be an upside potential of 88% for this next year. We have two price targets at the $17 range, which would be a 76% upside, and on the high end we do have Richard with a $20.50 price target. That would be growth potential of 113%. Second on our list today is a company called Airspan Networks. Their stock trades under the ticker MIMO and is currently priced at $8.22 per share. Airspan provides 5G networks with what it calls groundbreaking and disruptive software and hardware. Airspan's 5G NR development program is focused on MMWave, sub 6 GHz, massive MIMO, and open virtual RAN architectures. Airspan also offers fixed wireless access and backhaul solutions. They are also a pioneer in end-to-end -end open RAN solutions, which allow for integration of its systems with other vendors. With a phased approach, 
operators can monetize their 5G assets and services by taking advantage of the extensive 4G device portfolio ahead of the proliferation of 5G device ecosystems to support deploying advanced 5G access solutions today. The company's portfolio of indoor and outdoor products has a global reach, with 1 million cells having made their way to 1,000 customers in over 100 countries. As a result of their innovative technology and significant R&D investments to build and expand their 5G solutions portfolio, Airspan offers a cutting-edge comprehensive platform to create leading connectivity solutions. 5G networks are expected to drive significant innovation, and as a leading North American integrated 5G access network provider, Airspan expects to benefit from big investments in this niche from the government initiatives. They're also working to benefit from 5G stimulus packages being put in place around the world. Airspan Networks just began trading under their own MIMO ticker on August 16th following their SPAC merger with New Beginnings Acquisition Corporation. Shortly after that, the company followed up with their first quarterly earnings report as a publicly traded company. Revenue increased by 51% year-over-year to $42.05 million, while the company notched a gross profit of $19.2 million, a 31% increase on the same period last year. That said, Airspan still reported a net loss of $10.4 million, which was a slight improvement on the $11.1 million loss in Q2 of 2020. One analyst covering the stock is Christopher Howe from Barrington, who says a big selling point of Airspan is that it is one of the only North American vendors with a proven indoor and outdoor 5G system. He says that as the only North American integrated 5G network access provider, Airspan is well positioned to benefit from multiple government programs. As we consider the trends that are in favor of Airspan, such as the growing government programs combined with the company's disruptive and innovative technology, we believe there is a valuation gap to be recognized when considering its public comparable companies. Christopher is one of three analysts that have a rating on the Airspan Network stock, and it's worth noting that all three of these analysts are rated five-star themselves, and on the Airspan Network stock, they all come in with a buy rating. And with an average price target of $17 per share, we'd be looking at upside potential of 106%. Christopher's price target of $15 is on the low end, but would still be an 82% upside potential. And we also have Thomas from DA Davidson with a $20 price target that would be an upside potential of 143%. So there are two stocks, both priced under $10, but both with price targets where analysts think they could over double. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of these two companies and what other cheap stocks are on your radar lately? I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock. They are just meant for information and entertainment purposes, and you always need to make sure you're doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you back here next time.